My name is Aaron Merrill, and I'm going to be doing a presentation on whether or not budgetary slack is ethical. Just as a, an introduction, um, budgetary slack is the, the surplus that arises when managers preparing a budget overestimate costs or underestimate revenues. And it can give employees incentive, unfortunately, to, uh, to create easily achievable goals, which can if, if those goals are not synonymous with the goals of the company, be detrimental to the company. The ethical issue involved with budgetary slack is the misrepresentation of information. And depending on the ethical culture of a, an individual firm, budgetary slack can or cannot be an issue. Some of the reasons why budgetary slack is unethical, um, first of all, Compensation um, in budgetary slack is, is tied to budgets, which this gives incentive to those creating the budget to, to find loopholes to try to, to benefit themselves. Uh, basing compensation on budgets is, is pretty similar to the situation um, with WorldCom and Enron, where executives were being paid based on, on projected revenues and projected stock prices and they were able to manipulate those numbers to the point where they were um, helping themselves while uh, being a detriment, a huge detriment to the companies that they worked for, um, even uh, involving fraud. And unfortunately, tie compensation to budgets incentivizes employees to game the system whether it be during the budgeting process or throughout the year to affect performance. Some of the other negative effects of budgetary slack include negotiating easier targets, excessive spending, and accelerating sales. Another reason budgetary slack is unethical is it encourages waste. When a company achieves their goals, a lot of employees will become complacent or They'll delay sales until the following period if they've already met their current sales goals. Um, if, if they have leftover money that they need to spend, they'll feel like they need to spend that extra money so that they don't lose it in future periods. And it can be really bad for a company. Another reason why budgetary slack is unethical is it's based on bias of, of those that created the budget. Um, unfortunately, that reliance on, on that biased information can lead to poor decision making and it does that for three reasons. First of all, um, decisions based on a single budget can frequently conflict with the other uses of the budget. Um, and uh, secondly, when, when biased budgets are aggregated in hierarchical organizations, basically when they're, when that biased information is, is pushed onto the upper levels um, of management, when that information starts out inaccurate, uh, as inaccurate information, it's compounded as it goes up each level of the hierarchy of the organization. And then also uh, the third reason is participation in the budgetary process provides an opportunity for subordinates to, to create slack in the budgets um, to their benefit uh, most times. And a lot of times when it's to their benefit, it's to the detriment of the company. And the final and most important reason, um, in my mind, why budgetary slack is unethical is it's um, inaccurate information is, is portrayed. Um, the capabilities of the company are misrepresented, and a lot of times, like we discussed earlier, expenses are overestimated and um, revenues are underestimated so that the goals are more achievable. And this this mainly becomes an, an issue when ethical, when um, it's done knowingly. And this, to me, is the number one reason why uh, budgetary slack is unethical. And I think that um, managers need to be more aware of, of budgetary slack if they're going to have success managing it and, and avoiding it in the future.